Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we are going to be taking a first look at Gold Mythic New Frontier Clem who is going to be coming to RTS as an advanced token will character. Now visually Clementine looks great. I did do a teaser of her last week and the art on the left hand side doesn't do it justice. On the right hand side you can see really cool basically exactly how it was in the Telltale games when it comes to the visuals. Between season two and season three, it was a bit of a flashback, effectively, and she was looking after AJ, and on on her her back, basically, it's actually really cool. I like it. Uh, she is holding a two-handed axe, as you can see. She is going to be a strong character. On the left-hand side, she has got that baseball bat in her hand, so there should be an attached weapon. Oh, sorry, sorry, a non-attached weapon coming in the future that is going to be a green baseball bat. We'll have to see what that's going to be about, but obviously, people know what it's about. Clementine. Visually, everyone knows what's going on here. If we look at the stats, at level 1600, limit break 3, she has got 39,260 attack, 26,173 defense, and 28,043 HP. She is going to be a strong character, like I said. She is holding an axe, like I showed on the right-hand side. She is going to be in the support role, gold mythic, of course, and she is going to be joining the Telltale Allegiance. This does mean she can potentially be used as a leader on the current Stellar roadmaps. Now, if we take a look at the Adrenaline Rush, it is called Brutal Tail. It has got a recharge rate of 66 AP, deals 600% damage to a line of enemies, which gets plus 200% damage for each other Telltale Allegiance teammate. All Telltale Allegiance teammates and one other fighter get focus for the rest of combat. This is really powerful, obviously, when it goes off. The rush damage obviously will scale. She shouldn't be one of those other characters, but there can be four other characters. So this can potentially do 1,400 deal damage to a line of enemies. On those Telltale roadmaps, this will be really, really powerful. And if you have tried to play through the stereo maps, you'll know there's a particular stage where you come up against an enemy that doesn't take any damage because when they obviously get attacked, they reduce damage down to zero. Also, Brutus on the very last stage has an absolute defense weapon and it can be quite hard to get through that. Deal damage goes through that. And obviously, uh, Clementine's going to potentially do 1,400% damage surrounded by 1535s as well should have very high attack stat. Now the next part is crazy, honestly, especially for the roadmaps. Everyone's gonna have focus for the rest of the combat. This means that Confuse and Taunt won't be a problem, but also that means you can cheese attack while taunted on certain characters against certain teams. This Adrenaline Rush will have to go off quickly. And there isn't anyone within Telltale that can make Adrenaline Rushes happen that quickly. A command turn two is pretty much the best you can hope for. But otherwise, it is still nice. One other fighter is going to get that focus for the rest of combat too. Now, there are obviously characters in the game that remove focus, but she can reapply this focus every time she adrenaline rushes. And it's just very useful. It stops you from being as heavily controlled. You can bypass shields as well. I think there is another stage on those Telltale roadmaps where there's double shields. So that's actually going to be potentially quite useful indeed. Okay, so here we have Clementine with her Adrenaline Rush on an attack team. It is worth noting she has not got any Telltale teammates right now. But I will do a Telltale teammate attack just to show you the kind of damage difference. We'll rush the top line and she'll do Dill Damage, which is going to do 123k to the first character. I didn't really see what it did to the second one. Let's test it out with Telltale characters in there instead to see the kind of damage boost that she will get. Okay, so this time around, we have got her as the leader, and we'll just do her Adrenaline Rush again against the top line. We have got two Telltale teammates in the team, so it should go from 600% up to 1,000%. And obviously, she's the leader now, and any 1535s would obviously be giving her a boost. We'll do the Adrenaline Rush against the top line this time around. Now it's hitting for 300k, so it's obviously doing way more damage. We can get another 400% damage on this, but it'll be pretty hard to do when it comes to testing because, like I said, there's no real accelerants when it comes to the Telltale team yet. We'll have to see what comes out in the future. Now, if you look at the team, Clementine, William Carver, and Lily all have um, focus for the rest of combat. So does Glenn because one of the other teammates that is a non-Telltale can get it too. 
and it landed on Glenn in this case. Now, if we go straight into the upgrades on this Adrenaline Rush, you can see at Grade 3, it gets an upgrade where all Telltale Allegiance teammates and one other fighter get focused for the rest of combat. That's just requiring one copy. At Grade 5, which is two copies, it gets plus 200% base damage. So it goes from 400% up to 600% damage. And then at Limit Break 2, it gets the upgrade where it gets plus 200 damage for each other Telltale Allegiance teammate, making it up to potentially... 1400% deal damage on those roadmaps it will almost be guaranteed because you're going to be using a full squad of telltale characters massively amplified adrenaline rush i think she is probably the only deal damage on telltale so far as well which like i said there is that particular stage where there's a character that does i think it's william carver who reduces all damage down to zero because of his weapon plus the stage effects this will bypass that which is obviously very handy and that last stage, like I said, with Brutus. Brutus can be hard to take down, and the deal damage will bypass that, I think, 60% chance to absolute defend weapon, which is obviously nice as well. But yeah, I think this is obviously a great rush. The more Telltale characters, the better, but it should still do reasonably decent damage once she is a leader and she's got a nice team around her. There should be more Telltale characters to come out in the future, so if you don't feel like the current Telltale characters are up to par to use with Clem, like in war and so on and so forth there could potentially be other telltale characters that will be most likely the telltale characters that will come out in the future will be good for attack just because they're most likely going to be geared to be usable on the stellar roadmaps as well which is obviously you attacking so just worth keeping that in mind now the next part of clementine's kit we're going to take a look at is going to be the signature move and it is called vicious beating it has got an initial cooldown of turn one cooldown at two turns number of uses unlimited deal 750% damage to an enemy but it gets plus 750% if that enemy is at max hp all teammates get plus 25% attack but plus 50% attack for telltale teammates instead for each other telltale allegiance teammate for two turns this again is potentially crazy not just on the stellar maps but also in war that's a 1500 percent deal damage off of turn one that is going to deal significant damage to any character honestly but the next part is really cool because it gives extra attack based on how many telltale characters are in the team i think this should be 50 percent attack buff off of turn one if it's just clementine to everyone but if it's other telltale characters the telltale characters will get 50% maybe a hundred percent or 75 percent but then obviously another 50 percent for each telltale character i'll test it out with just clementine in the team and then with a full telltale team as well okay so we will start the fight and as you can see we have got an enemy here that we're going to target we hit him for i think around about 300k with the adrenaline rush now we'll try out the signature with him at full hp it should be 1500 percent damage he's got full bonus hp pretty significant damage there obviously some trait damage coming in as well now as you can see nobody's got an attack buff because the way this works is there has to be other telltale characters in the team for anyone to get the telltale like buff so i'd have to use one other telltale character for everybody to get 25 percent attack but if i did use a full telltale team let's see what kind of attack buffs everyone's going to be getting so this time around i'm going to do the signature move now it's worth noting as well because we've got a full Telltale team and we're using William Carver, her attack stat is actually crazy right now. It's like 300k. So that 263k that we did last time is now going to be 420k. Now everybody has 200% attack buff. And then I could use William Carver's signature move. Obviously Lily's signature move. Duck's signature move. Massive amplified damage. Those roadmaps are going to be nuts if you have got this character as the leader. Especially for William Carver. He seems to be like one of the key damage dealers on that roadmap. And obviously, the fact that he's got a 200% attack buff is going to make things a lot easier for sure. Going straight into the upgrades, you can see at grade 2 it gets plus 1 attack up duration. So it goes from a 1 turn attack buff to a 2 turn attack buff. This could mean that you're attacking a signature with Anna Rush for some people if they get attacked, so on and so forth. At grade 4, you're going to get an upgrade where 50% attack for each Telltale teammate instead... So obviously the Telltale teammates would go from 25% attack buff up to 50%. Then in Limit Break 1, it gets an upgrade where you get 750% conditional damage 
if that enemy is at max HP, which generally means that if you use this signature move, it's the first move, and you really should because the attack buffs are going to come in afterwards. The person who she attacks should get 1,500% um, damage here. And then at LB3, it gets the minus one to start in cooldown. I'd say that is quite important for war, but you could maybe get away with it on the Telltale roadmaps. It is worth noting you obviously would lose out on some turns potentially and it's all about winning those roadmaps as quickly as possible. I think the last stages require you to do it in seven turns. So obviously the, the quicker you can get this out, the heavier the buff comes in, the quicker that attack buff comes in for other people to do their signature moves and so on and so forth. It just means you aren't going to be wasting a turn. It's pretty much as simple as that. Very nice signature move, big attack buffs. Like I said, the more Telltale characters that come out in the future can team up with Clementine to make this a more of an like a decent attack team but carver might actually have some usage now in proper war you know he's going to be able to give out a reasonable amount of attack buff here because he's the one who effectively is giving out the attack buff when clementine does this and obviously he does buff clementine as well so the duo between those two strange enough if you know the storyline is um is actually going to be pretty decent uh but like i say the, the future Telltale characters could really make a difference here. But as it stands, just on the roadmaps, will be absolutely fantastic with that 200% attack buff. And 1500% off of turn one is no joke for sure. Now, a new Frontier Clem is, of course, an advanced token wheel recruit. One lucky winner will win themselves 10,000 advanced tokens. All you have to do is hit the like button on this video, leave a comment down below about RTS, about Clementine, about Telltale, whatever you want to leave it about when it's Walking Dead related. You'll enter yourself into the giveaway. Give yourself a chance to win those tokens. Best of luck if you do enter. Now back to the video. Now the next thing we're going to look at is going to be a new Frontier Clem's passives. These are her mythic abilities. Of course, we have got Cunning because she is a support character. Now her signature and Adrenaline Rush are both deal damage. It's not going to make this proc when attacking or being attacked. 30% less likely to trigger enemy weapon effects and walker effects. Basically, it's just good that she's not control because then you can potentially use this character against Regina teams. There weren't really too many other options that I could see her being used as. Um, again, if she was a fight, uh, a damage dealer, sorry, she wouldn't actually get the boost of 20% either because but it doesn't work with deal damage. The next one's called Allegiance Battery. When this fighter performs the Adrenaline Rush, all other Telltale Allegiance teammates get 50% AP. This is big because you could command rush her on turn two. So she'll take her basic attack. She's got her rush ready. Then you command rush her and she'll give 50% AP to the characters that have done their sig move off turn one and would just effectively get a free turn to rush in the meantime. And again, this is going to speed up things quite a lot on those roadmaps. And in war, this could be very, very nice indeed. AP, AP manipulators are just great. Now, if you don't like this for whatever reason, because some people don't want to do this because they are fearful of things like exhaust, you don't have to tear it up. But I would definitely say it's worth while doing. The next one is called Team Amp. I'm surprised the last one wasn't called Team Amp. All teammates get 5% attack, defense, and HP for each Telltale Allegiance teammate. Clementine would be one of those Telltale Allegiance teammates. But then, obviously, every other Telltale teammate you're going to have in the team would give that buff as well. Plus, they should multiply with each other as well as be an additional. Plus, they should add to um, the one from William Carver. This is why she had 300k attack. And I will show that in the team that she was in. Because I, I was like, I figured that's Carver. But it's actually Clementine's buff as well. Now, Clementine's last passive is called Rush Masters. All teammates get 15% rush damage. Telltale Allegiance teammates get 30% instead. This is obviously really good. This would be good for characters like Ruben, who obviously want to get as many multipliers boosts come in. He would get an extra 15% on his Adrenaline Rush, which is very nice. And Clementine looks like she could work against those sort of Regina defense teams. I think right now, maybe, obviously, you're not going to get the best out of her kit because of there's not really a huge amount of usable Telltale characters that could be used with her against those teams. But when there is, that attack buff is also going to come in and could potentially scale up quite high. So you could potentially have like 100% or higher attack buff for someone like Ruben as well off of turn one because of the signature move. So the, the combination there could be actually pretty nice. A nice little buff when it comes to uh, the adrenaline rush of anybody, but namely Ruben, the team up there for the Regina teams, like I say. Her rush herself will get a 30% boost. 
as will anyone else in her team. And the multi-hit rushes that she has in the current roadmap squad that she can use will obviously get a big buff because they can crit as well. So this will be a really, really big boost for them. So here was that team that I was talking about and she just has a 1535 weapon in her hands and everyone else has just a base weapon. And you can see she's at 275,000. If I had more 1535s, it'd be very, very nice indeed. Of course, if I just put this 1535 here and I put another 1535 in this guy's hands, you can see her attacks go up to 300K. This is without mods and it, without actually a very top tier weapon as well. I think it's only got like 45%. Oh, it's got 50%. So it can get a slightly higher boost, really high potential when it comes to the, the damage output from Clementine and the boost that she can get, but also the fact that she's boosting everyone else as well. Like William Carver with 270%, oh no, sorry, 270,000 attack plus 200% attack buff because of the buff she gives out is gonna be just so crazy on those roadmaps. Absolutely nuts for sure. Okay, so here we are off of turn one and I'll do the adrenaline rush and you'll see that Carver and Lily get 50% of their max AP. Obviously, this is gonna happen whenever she does an adrenaline rush. It's pretty simple. Adrenaline rush comes in. Lily and William Carver now have 50% of their max AP. On turn two, they generally already have 50% or higher because you do the signature moves of them or basic attacks and then they get this AP on top, generally giving them a natural turn two rush. Very nice for Telltale characters that exist right now on that roadmap, it should be great. But like I said, there's always the kind of like, I wonder what's coming with Telltale when it comes to the other attack team characters on the way. Now, as we look at the upgrades on the passives, you can see at grade one, she gets the first half of Allegiance Battery. When this fighter performs their Adrenaline Rush, all other Telltale Allegiance teammates get 20% AP. At grade two, she gets the first half of Cunning. When attacking or being attacked, 15% less likely to trigger enemy weapon effects and walker effects. And at grade three, she gets the second half of Allegiance Battery, making it 50% AP total when she does her Adrenaline Rush to all Telltale Allegiance teammates. Moving on to grades four and five. At grade four, she gets the first half of Team Amp. All teammates get 2.5% attack, defense, and HP for each Telltale Allegiance teammate. And at grade five, she gets the first half of Rush Masters. All teammates get 7.5% Rush damage. Telltale Allegiance teammates get 15% instead. I like that this is guaranteed on grade four and five. It's just a weaker version of it. It's always nicer to see that rather than like a chance of it happening. Then lastly, the limit breaks. We can see at limit break one, we get the second half of Cunning, making it 30% less likely to trigger enemy weapon effects and walker effects when attacking. At limit break two, she gets the second half of Team Amp. All teammates get now 5% attack, defense, and HP for each Telltale Allegiance teammate. And then lastly, at limit break three, Rush Masters th two comes in, sorry. All teammates get now 15% rush damage and Telltale Allegiance teammates get now 30% instead. This is going to be very, very nice. Particular characters are going to get a big boost, particularly ones that deal damage. That's why I said Ruben will get quite a nice boost because deal damage doesn't get many amplifiers. Characters that crit can get nice amplifiers in their combat mods. They can get two amplifiers from crit set and crit mod or crit multiplier mod, should I say. But this is also going to stack with all that and it should be massive amounts of damage coming out. The roadmaps, like I said, I'm actually looking forward to the roadmaps and testing this out just because of how crazy William Carver already is with a 200% attack buff and doing an extra 30% damage on his Adrenaline Rush and the heavy stats that he's gonna have now. It should be very interesting indeed. So yeah, great passives, great support, but also buffing her own damage at the same time. I like these a lot. Now, a new Frontier Clem is a leader and she can be used in that leader slot for the Telltale Roadmaps and for War and so on and so forth. And it is all Telltale teammates get 50% attack. All other teammates get 40% attack. At the start of each wave, two random enemies get impair and daze for one turn. So pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. Telltale characters are going to get a nice 50% boost. Other teammates are going to get 40%. This is kind of standard. We have seen this in the past, even way back to New World Order. I think Traders was exactly the same. It was seen NWO got 50% and everyone else got 40%. But the control is really nice. At the start of each wave, two random enemies get in pair and daze for one turn. What's good about these particular controls is defense teams cannot cheese them, so they can't like get buffs if they get controlled with these. Whereas characters that do stun and so on and so forth can effectively improve the defense 
of that character when that happens so it's not ideal but this isn't going to be problematic obviously on those roadmaps there are characters that have defense while stunned if you uh if you've done that so yeah very nice indeed when it comes to the potential of the control some of the early signature moves are very annoying and if this lands on the right character for instance an outlast character you can take them out straight away like eris and she won't be able to do her adrenaline rush she'll just be down and out straight away now clementine does not have an attached weapon but she does have that baseball bat in her hand on the left hand side of the art i would say you want to go with as offensive a weapon as possible but do remember that anything that has attack based third slots will not work so if it's like when attacking deal extra percentage damage based on the enemy's hp will not work with her signature move will not work with her adrenaline rush so anything that's kind of like interesting if they bring out like a strong ap weapon could be useful if they bring out like a, a weapon that has anything on it that doesn't require her to hit an attack that's the only thing that she has you have to keep in mind um otherwise 1535 or improve 1535 get as much damage out as possible for herself and the rest of her team all the multipliers will come in and it will boost her damage in turn so it'll be very very nice indeed so this was the first look at new frontier clem the first of season three characters to come to rts and visually really cool i love the fact that we're getting telltale characters again and they have stuck very close to kind of the og original of how these characters were in the in the actual game and uh we get baby aj as well it would be very hard to have aj as an actual character i think this was pretty much the only way and probably the reason why they used this visual for clementine and clementine herself is just a very good character most of the clementines in the game have been decent but this one is very nice attack leader nice lead skill and also really nice buffs for everybody but specifically telltale are going to get such huge buffs on those roadmaps even if you only get one copy of this character it should be really really useful for those roadmaps attacks for sure now do tell me what you think about gold mythic clementine like i said she is going to be coming to the game as an advanced token world character best of luck if you enter the giveaway for her i want to thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving <laughs>